Hi, I'm Katie D'Angelo, All Springs Head of Global Relationship Management. I'm here today with Megan Miller, our Head of Systematic Options and Co-Head of Custom SMA Investments. And for our audience, welcome to Spring Talk. Uh, Megan, thanks so much for joining me today, not only to celebrate International Women's Day and Women's History Month, but also to talk about a mega trend in the making, the great wealth transfer, and what that's going to mean specifically for women. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. So to kick us off this International Women's Day episode, uh, could you share with our listeners a little bit about your investment career, its origin, progression, and what it's like to build a career in what has historically been a very male-dominated industry? Yeah, so I was uh, offered an internship um, my sophomore year of my undergraduate schooling, and it was at an investment firm called Analytic Investors, and I was studying math and economics, and I was really excited to work at a quantitative investment firm, and I did that for a few summers, and um, then I joined full-time, and it is actually one of Allspring's predecessor firms, so I've been with the same team for about 20 years now. Um, and have held various roles over that time. I started as a researcher and then moved to the trading desk and into portfolio management. And you know, during that time, most of my colleagues and my teammates, all of my bosses were all men. Um, so it was, you know, at the time, so, you know, spent most of my career really ignoring the fact that I didn't fit in. But uh, now I embrace it. I really love um, and believe in diversity. And I, I do um, think the most diverse teams will serve our clients the best. So I'm really excited that Allspring is doing such a great job and focused on increasing our diversity. And, you know, 50% of our senior leaders are women. And I think that's fantastic. And I know, you know, including you, Katie, and I'd love to hear your story and how and how you got started. Uh, yeah, Megan. And I, I equally, I am incredibly proud of Allspring um, for, I think, frankly, the fact that 50% of our executive team is female. Um, it's a rarity in the industry, something I hope isn't as rare going forward, but I'm incredibly proud to be a part um, of our of our leadership team. And, and I would say, same, Megan, I think, frankly, I've always wanted to be uh, a part of this industry. I can remember as a little girl uh, when asked, you know, sort of what I would be doing for a living. I don't know that I knew what the job was, but I always drew sort of pictures of myself in a high rise in a boardroom wearing a black suit. I love being a part of our industry. And yes, it has historically been um, very male dominated, but I think I've always used that as sort of fuel. Um, I wanted to be at that table. I wanted to be there. And so to me, I've always sort of focused on, well, what can I own? What can I do to sort of make sure that I'm as competent as I possibly can be? So I deserve the ability to be at that table. And then if you have the opportunity, I've always tried to strive to, to speak up, to use my own voice, um, to make sure that when we're when we have those opportunities, um, that women, women are heard. And I think that the more that we do that and the more we do it together, um, I think we'll see more and more of us uh, at those tables. And so pivot, pivoting, I think, to kind of thinking more, I think, on that personal note, Megan, I'd love to ask um, if you can kind of tell us about a woman in your life that acted as a mentor that you believe helped you along the way uh, to your current role as a leader on the systematic edge investment team here at Allspring. You know, Katie, most of my mentors have been men and I think it's just the nature of the industry and the teams that I've been on and um, the time I started my career. And, you know, thankfully I've had a number of supporters that have helped me um, in my career. And the way that's been is through allyship with, um, men just helping support um, the different roles that I've had. And, uh, you know, the mentors that I've had have embraced um, my role and my leadership and my abilities to to be part of the team. And that's been incredibly helpful. And I, I think they've just helped strengthen the platform that, you know, I'm standing on now and just helping me, you know, gain confidence and helping me feel that I, I do belong here. And that to me has been so helpful and important. But I do think it, it has been, you know, and it's noticeable that I didn't have many women as mentors. And I'm excited now that the industry's been changing and evolving and that I could, you know, be that mentor for, you know, women advancing in, in our industry. Oh, and I love what you said about mentors and allies. And I guess, how do you strive to be that person for others? You know, I really, um, I do believe in um, fairness and equality. I believe in hard work 
And I hope that I express those values. And those are the, you know, the values that I see and, and appreciate in others and, you know, through mentorship and other opportunities. And, and be in that role and being in that position um, and in a, in a leadership role to help um, bring women along. And it's so important to have um, representation. It's it's essential. And I struggled without having, um, you know, role models to look up to within the industry, within the firms and teams that I was on. And so I know the importance of having that role. I agree. And and I think, again, that the more of us there are, I think the easier it is for other women to see, see a spot for them uh, within our industry. Like I mentioned, we're also here today uh, to discuss an important trend in the making that all spring, and I think everyone has been following, and that is really the great wealth transfer. And I want to talk to you about what that means for women specifically. Um, one McKinsey article stated that by 2030, American women are expected to control much of the 30 trillion with a T in financial assets of the 84 trillion expected to change hands here over the next uh, several years. A potential wealth transfer of that magnitude, actually, when you put it into context, it approaches the annual GDP of the United States. So what do you think uh, when you hear that, Megan, and specifically for women as well? I think it's amazing. I think it's great that women are about to be the new face of wealth. That's awesome. And it just provides so much opportunity for women in in the industry. And as we discussed, it's been an industry that's been so male um, dominated. And so this trend will just lead us to a new era of investing and one where we have women on both sides of the table. You know, I think it's like I said, amazing that um, women are inheriting all this wealth, but with that wealth and inheritance comes with a lot of responsibility for managing uh, that wealth. And so I think we'll see an increase in financial literacy. I think that more women will be making decisions on how to manage those assets and who better to be on the other side of the table than another woman um, helping make those decisions. So I think it's just great for the industry to embrace um, gender diversity and for nothing else than um, to engage with a new um, audience. Agreed. And we recently uh, published an infographic on the great wealth transfer. And the piece really helps to describe the magnitude of this, this mega trend that we're now seeing. The piece also helps to explain the potential impact on wealth management and what financial advisors specifically can do to prepare. One key takeaway for advisors was to clearly understand your client's goals and objectives and to engage in these discussions now in order to help clients prepare. When you consider that a large portion of these beneficiaries are going to be women, what does that mean for financial advisors? Yeah, I think personalization is our future. The ability to personalize portfolios and have a wide range of relevant investment solutions is going to be a key to, to success in the industry. Um, it will allow advisors to guide on different return goals, different risk tolerances, You know, regardless if you're a man or a woman or an institution, it's that personalization that will be the key to success. And, you know, alongside personalized solutions is um, democratizing the education um, needed and increasing that financial literacy on um, understanding um, the different, you know, pros and cons and risks and opportunities of the various investment strategies that um, are available in our in our industry. And I think we'll just see more people making um, investment decisions. And so it's I think it's important for people to understand um, that the personalization goes along with the education. Um, and so I think we'll see that going forward. And, you know, importantly, with transferring that large amount of wealth is tax management. It, it, we mentioned it in the infographic, um, but I know it's it, it's essential that these um, solutions are tax aware. And Katie, I know you've done a lot of work, you know, in your seat and talking about tax management and tax awareness. And what do you see on your side of the table? Yeah, thanks, Megan. And, and agreed. Tax management is really a critical piece of the wealth transfer conversation for advisors and their clients. The process of preparing for the transfer of wealth should be planned for. It involves identifying and addressing challenges and opportunities that may arise through the process. And I think honestly developing really a generational wealth transfer strategy for preserving that wealth. 
And I think there's there's really several key factors to take into consideration. One of the most important is the, the value or composition of the assets that will be transferred. This may include illiquid assets like real estate, businesses, also financial investments and concentrated stock positions. Given this, it's really critical to have a plan in place years in advance as creating a tax strategy to help preserve as much wealth as possible can require time. And I think what this means is that it is a super timely topic for financial advisors and clients. Uh, for example, offsetting the future sale of a business that may transfer could include investing in a direct indexing portfolio that's designed to utilize losses to help offset future gains or creating a long-term plan to tax efficiently sell shares of a concentrated stock position in order to create a more fully uh, diversified portfolio or fund other personal goals. Um, these are really all strategies that we currently are currently discussing with our financial advisors in order to help them design a personal tax strategy based on their clients' needs. And again, the wealth transfer represents a phenomenal opportunity not to wait for, but honestly, to be engaging with clients on today. Katie, how about advisors' ability to provide personalized, customizable investment options? How can this help address client-specific needs? Absolutely. Using separately managed account strategies like direct indexing can allow advisors to tailor their investments and based on really specific needs and apply a broad array of tax management capabilities to help investors keep more of what they earn or inherited um, throughout the lifetime of the investment. The same can also apply to fixed income portfolios. So if we tie this back to the business owner or transfer of a business, as well as the corporate executive or transfer of concentrated stock positions, I think we at Allspring have done a great deal of research and created content to support our financial advisors in these discussions. And in doing so, I think we really hope we can play even a small role in supporting our advisors and positioning themselves as experts in generational wealth transfer, working with business owners and working with corporate executives so they can continue to attract more of those clients to their practices. Um, and, and with that, I, I know we're coming at the end of our time here on Spring Talk. So thank you, Megan, um, for joining me today to celebrate um, International Women's Day and talk about the great wealth transfer and what that means for women, financial intermediaries, advisors, and more. I enjoyed my time here. Thanks, Katie. And thank you to our audience for joining us on Spring Talk. From all of us here at Allspring, we wish you a happy International Women's Day and a great rest of Women's History Month. Visit allspringglobal.com to receive more market insights and investment perspectives from Allspring Global Investments. To hear the latest from our thought leaders on the ever-changing investment landscape, you can subscribe to the program on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you for listening and joining us on the road to investing elevated. This material is provided for informational purposes only and is for professional, institutional, or qualified clients, investors, not for retail use outside the U.S. This material does not constitute an offer or solicitation and in any case is not intended to be used in any jurisdiction or to any person where it would be unauthorized or unlawful to do so. Allspring Global Investments, Allspring, is the trade name for the asset management companies of Allspring Global Investments Holdings, LLC, a holding company indirectly owned by certain private funds of GTCR, LLC, and Reverence Capital Partners, LP. Unless otherwise stated, Allspring is the source of all data, which is current or as of the date stated. Past performance is not a guarantee or reliable indicator of future results. All investments contain risk. Content is provided for informational purposes only with no representation regarding its adequacy, accuracy, or completeness and should not be relied upon. Views, opinions, assumptions, or estimates are not necessarily that of Allspring and are subject to change without notice. And this communication does not contain investment advice, an investment recommendation, or investment research as defined under local regulation of the respective jurisdiction. Diversification does not ensure or guarantee better performance and cannot eliminate the risk of investment losses. Copyright 2024 Allspring Global Investments Holdings LLC All Rights Reserved. March 2024.